Hello everyone, I'm Cloud and welcome to Anime Nomi. Today we will finally continue with the videos of One Piece here on the channel, and this time we will talk about the father of Monkey D. Luffy, son of Monkey D. Garp, yes, the revolutionary dragon, and more, we will also talk about his reward, after all he is the most wanted man in the world. So I already count a lot on your support to let me like it, your like is super important and super helps the channel that is still new. I also count on you a lot to subscribe if you are new here and join our crew. Now let's go straight to the video. Guys, as we know Luffy's father is currently the man most wanted by Sekai Sifu, being the creator of the group feared by the Tenryubitus and even the Gorosei, for the simple fact that he is shaking the structures formed by the former 19 of the 20 kingdoms, and all this for an unknown reason. It is not known what motivated Dragon to start his journey and form the group of revolutionaries who oppose the Sekai Sifu and the corrupted desires of the world nobles, especially those who live in Mary Giasai and try to stop anyone who wishes to control the world for his own own benefit. And with that, we see the group saving everyone who suffers at the hands of the world nobles, traveling the world to fight the Sekai Sifu, always focusing on going to different islands to free them from the forces of the heavenly dragons to rule themselves. In addition, Dragon's army became powerful even by fortifying its members with the best fighting items, some of which they achieved with Doflamingo, and which they took after their fall however, among all powers, the largest and most mysterious vineyard from your leader. This because Dragon himself had already mentioned that those who lived giving their dreams and desires for the group, fighting for the same ideal, knew absolutely nothing about him. It was as if he were not almost a divine being, and that came thanks to his power. Even Dragon himself said that the revelation that came thanks to Luffy about his relationship with Garp and the Straw Hat, where everyone knew who Dragon was, would make the group unite even more, knowing that their leader was like everyone there. And with all that, being the first to directly oppose the wishes of the celestial dragons, the only one who focused all his moves on this, unlike the pirates who had other goals, Dragon just wanted to end the ten Ryubitos, becoming the biggest enemy there's instantly. With that then how do we know Monkey D. Dragon the revolutionary leader was considered the biggest enemy of Sekai Sifu, being also the most wanted man, but what does that mean? What is the reward of Monkey D. Dragon? Before we talk more about him, his power, and his Akuma no Mi, let's see how much the leaders of the world offer those who manage to stop the leader of the revolutionaries. And well, with everything we've seen in the work so far, we've already managed to get an idea of what the reward for Garp's son is. Something the author is hiding so far, but even so, because it's the most we can get make some pretty accurate assumptions. Come on, first we have to understand that Dragon is known as the most wanted, and with that, we immediately have two options, or he is the most wanted today, taking into account the time when Edward Newgate was alive. After all, while the man strongest in the world was still a pirate, Dragon was already the most wanted. But there would also be the option for Dragon to have the greatest reward of all time, which would also be a little different, as we would have to take into account the reward of the Pirate King too, remembering that everything indicates that Rox D. Zebek never had a great reward for their actions being hidden by the Navy. So here we go, if Dragon is considered the most sought after just now, and this since the time of Whitebeard, then we must consider that his reward would be ranging between 5 billion, 46 million and 1, which is already greater than that of Newgate, going up to a maximum of 5 billion, 564 million, 799,999, thus staying below GOLD Roger. That's because what has been understood, at least so far, is that throughout the history of One Piece, Roger being the king of the pirates was the one who had the greatest reward of all time, this is why we know that apparently the celestial dragons to hide Zebek's actions. As a result, they did not give him much visibility, even though he was one of the greatest pirates of all time, and consequently did not give a big reward, something very similar when they hid that Luffy had beaten Gekko Mariah and was taking down Shishibukai's. However, the story is a little different if Dragon really has the greatest reward of all time, because from then on, he would not have much limitation, surpassing the 5 billion and 564 billion and 800,000 that possessed GOLD Roger, which is who so far has the record of reward revealed. And as we know, Roger in his day really shook the world with his actions as a pirate, accomplishing something that had never been accomplished and discovering everything that the descendants of the 19 kingdoms tried for almost a millennium to hide, being then very feared by them. However, Roger's goal was not exactly to reveal all the secrets and take down the ten Ryubitos, which is certainly Dragon's goal, after all he spent ten years looking for Nico Robin, after all she is the hope for all the secrets of the world to be revealed, and that is why he wanted it alongside the revolutionaries. With all of that then, we can really even take into account that Dragon's reward may have exceeded Roger's for the reason that he is acting directly against the celestial dragons. Besides, Roger really shook the structures of the world, 
but not only managing to reach Laftal, Laftail, but mainly because he motivated the future generation. But we know that Roger is extremely powerful, he has a frightening power with his hockey and surpassed most of the opponents that come his way without apparently possessing the power of an Ikoma no Mi. But what about Dragon? How strong is he? Oda, the author is always hiding the powers of Monkey D. Dragon, giving only a few hints in some small appearances or quotes. But it is quite obvious that he is extremely powerful because even the navy leaders respect Dragon's name when it comes to of power, in addition to many fearing his name. But what is he really capable of? Come on, first hockey is one of the most important powers in One Piece, and as much as we have not seen Dragon using personally, we know that he was able to stop Smoker, a user of Logia who attacked Luffy. Not only that, even though I didn't see Dragon's powers directly, we saw Sabo's, who was trained at a very young age by the leader of the revolutionaries, and since Sabo was able to use the Bosashoka hockey, then it becomes visible that Dragon is also capable of use. Going further, the observation hockey for being a power that can be learned, also possibly should be used by Dragon and then only remaining Haushika Haki, the King's Haki, which is more difficult to know if he is or not. After all this power is not inherited in a hereditary way, nor can it be learned, only the chosen ones have this power, we know that Dragon has great deeds, and also when Luffy presented his conqueror's Haki in Marineford, everyone was surprised briefly, but then said it was normal for that man's son to have that power. So with this comment from some members of the Navy that has been chasing Dragon for a long time, Everything can indicate that they have already witnessed the revolutionary leader using this power however, as I said, it is not hereditary so we have to wait for confirmation, but it would not be a surprise he owns. And also as we know, Dragon apparently possesses the power of an Akuma no Mi that would possibly be a Logia type fruit, one capable of controlling the climate in some way. That's because we saw it in Logetown, when Luffy was on the platform where Roger had his end and was about to be attacked by Buggy, we see how a gigantic lightning bolt went straight to where the two of them were, being attracted by the Buggy blade and saving the boy from the hat. Straw, in a way that seems to go beyond coincidence. After that we see the way Smoker starts to go after Luffy, and at a certain moment he is able to get the Mujiwara, trying from there to finish Luffy's journey. It so happens that Luffy is once again saved by intense climate change, but this time, Dragon reveals himself completely, leaving Smoker surprised without understanding why Dragon is saving that boy. We know that he is Luffy's father, but what we don't know, it's like the rain left and a big wind came. So it really looks a lot like Dragon has the power of an Akuma no Mi that allows him to control the weather, possibly the power of a fruit that allows him to control storms. Even so we see that Dragon is extremely mysterious, what we do know is that he created his group shortly after witnessing the last moment of G.O.L.D. Roger, in addition, he won the support of several groups and places. After all everyone knew how Sekai Sifu he was controlling the world only for his own interests, Dragon being the only one who decided to oppose them. But comment below, what do you think his dragon and reward powers are? Do you think he surpasses that of Roger? Comments. And that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed our video, and I also ask you to subscribe to help us. I'm still learning English, so forgive us for any mistakes. Thanks for watching, and if you liked, subscribe.